Um, how old were you when you started playing football, Jill? Literally, like, five years old. Yeah. Oh, are you? Five, yeah. And what got you into it? Um, just playing in, like, the schoolyard, literally, with the boys. I didn't realise till a couple of weeks in that I was the only girl doing it, but I had loads of energy as a kid. Yeah. But even my grandma said on my christening day, my legs were just like this the whole time. <laughs> and my grandma reckoned, she said, she's going to be a footballer. No oh. way. And I was about, like, I don't know, about four months old or something. And what, what, what was everybody else's reaction to you playing football? Um, I think the kids were, like, fine, but it was the parents, you know? It was, yeah. like, some of the parents from, like, opposing teams, I think... If I like beat their precious son, they didn't like, like it. They'd shout things. Are at you serious? Yeah. You're yeah. joking. Yeah. Like, what were they shouting? Like kick her, hack her down. No like, way. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'd come off the pitch, like literally in in tears. For some people, that could have broken them, but for her, it made her. So things can either make or break you. And she she took a positive spin on it, and she kept going. And now look where she is. Do you think um, your little one could play football? Yeah, well, she started. So where her brother plays, you can't start playing until you're three. So she turned three on the Wednesday, and her first football lesson was on the Saturday. Oh, that is so, so cute. I'd, and it's lovely because there's so many girls and boys that play. Yeah. Because, you know, the Lionesses are a massive inspiration. Along the way, I had to kind of put up with a few mean comments from parents and, and stuff like that. But now knowing that her young daughter won't have to face that stuff, it really made us smile. She's on the start of that journey and it can be an amazing one for her. The way the fans got behind us, yeah. like, I, I felt like everybody was supporting us in Everyone a positive was. way. Yeah. Whereas sometimes for the guys, I do think when a tournament comes around, they're like, oh, how they're going to do and mm. put a bit of a negative spin on it. Mm. But I did feel like everybody was supporting us and that kind of, it was like, we're going to do something special. Now yeah. there, you smashed it. Yeah. The guys were so supportive as well. Like, they came and shared their stories about their Uvos experience. Yeah. And was like... You... It's, not, it's, not, it's not a full experience, though, is mm. it? Because they've never actually, like, won. So. <laughs> we needed a woman ne to do the match. So, so next time the boys have the Euros, presumably the girls will go in into their changing room and yeah. explain to them how they managed to win it. <laughs> perhaps they ought to do the same. Oh. You now need to be advising them. Yeah, it's so true. I think that, that win's obviously going to be iconic for a long time. 100%. But the, the, the biggest thing for me is, yeah, the medal. I look at it and I think I have the biggest, cheesiest grin ever. <laughs> but for me, it's like no enough girls can say, oh, you know what, I want to be a footballer. And it's like, that's, and that's normal. Okay, you can do that. It's fine. <laughs>